Bay Center Houston. One of my Texas experiences that I wanted to uh, experience and I'm going to be heading in in a minute here. So let's head inside. Just a quick look inside here. Just came inside, in the, just right inside the door. That's what it looks like. Isn't that beautiful? Holy cow! Okay. All right, the first thing we're doing is going on a tram tour. The Rocket Park tram tour. This one's included with the uh, regular admission. We'll get in line. Y'all may now exit to the left-hand side of the tramp. Wow. First rocket to see up close. Get up closer here. This rocket is Little Joe. It's like one of the first rockets where they started testing, I guess. Wow. engine the mercury redstone small one man spacecraft <laughs> Take a look at the big one. <laughs> oh, amazing. There's five of these things. <laughs> amazing. Got a lot of wind today. <laughs> but uh, I'm not going to go into detail on everything. It's, not, uh, just, it's just going to be like an overview, quick look around. So. <laughs> Rocket Park. Oh man, for the wind. Okay, I'm going to be heading inside now out of the wind. So. <laughs> Here we go. It just came in the door now. Look at that. Oh. Holy cow.
we saw that one inch and ounce side. Well, here's what it looks like. And there's all five of them on the actual rocket. Gosh. Wow. Amazing. Of course, it's the launch for the rocket. This is stage one with the five engines, the F1 engines down there, called the Saturn V. And here's stage two right there. And it's further down to stage one. We'll take a look at that later in a little bit. And after stage one separates, this piece here falls into the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> Another look at stage one. Move on to stage two. Man. Stage one fell into the ocean. <laughs> and stage two just drifted off into space. Did it? Or? I'm not sure. Okay. Probably says on that uh, thing out there. Yeah. Oh. Amazing. This rocket is the only remaining Saturn V rocket assembled with components certified for flight. Oh wow. Basically the whole thing's here. Stage one, stage two, and we're thinking stage two fell in the ocean too. It only went up 115 miles. I, I don't think that's high enough to stay out in outer space, so I'm not sure about this one. <laughs> Stage two. So the Alabama goes to the Saturn V. That's why this is the vibration factor to make sure that the pressure on the Stage two and three. Well, no, one and two, I mean. Look at that. Oh. Huge. Stage three. Okay, trying to figure all this out. Okay, have three, so one, two, and three, and now we have uh, this section. We had uh, 
three module. See the lunar module, module, the service module, and the command module is the one at the top, right up there with the. Uh, okay. And the lunar module, you see the outline? That was inside. The outline, is that lunar module is inside that. Okay, here it is looking inside of it now. Okay, this camera around. This is uh, so the m module that went onto the surface of the moon was in here. That's, what, that's why this is so sort of like empty in here. I don't have anything in it. Okay, that, that's. I was wondering what was in what was I was looking at earlier when I was looking at this. <laughs> Okay, you know that explains a lot. Let's go back down there again. Okay, we have stage one, two, and three. And then on the way to the moon, we have uh, this section here. And a lunar module, which is inside of that. Well, on our way to the moon, it will come out and this section will turn around and it will dock with the, the lunar module. So it, it that so they're dock, so the astronauts can go from the command module into the lunar module, which now would be in the front. And of course, when they get to the moon, the lunar module would uh, disconnect and go to the moon, while the one astronaut stays inside the command module. And then the lunar module would come launch off, back up, and then connect back up. And uh, astronauts in the lunar module will enter there again. And as far as I know of the uh, lunar module, they to disconnect, I think. I'm not sure what they do with that. Uh, <laughs> take a look. <laughs> At least it got that far. <laughs> okay, I did read that uh, once the astronauts are back into there, that the module that came back up from the moon is jettisoned and then the rest go back, returns to Earth. All right, figure that out. National Historic Mechanical Engineering Landmark, 75 Rock. 1967-1973, I'm not going to read, read the entire thing, but I'll hold it here for a moment and you can uh, pause and read it if you want. There it is. Saturn V rocket. Amazing. to Mars. All oh, um, that's needed for human, human Mars mission are in development now. <laughs> oh, wow. Independent 2030s and beyond. Hmm. 
one last look at the Saturn V. So we're heading out of here. Oh, the rocket park. Amazing. Okay, we just got off of the tram from the rocket park. Now we're gonna go take a look at this. Amazing. <laughs> Seven forty seven. This is act, one of the actual seven forty seven that hauled the shuttle. The shuttle itself is just a replica, it's not an actual uh, shuttle that went to space or anything, it's just a replica. Oh, there's the seven forty seven. Beautiful. Attachments. Yeah, the inside of the seven forty seven and the engine. <laughs> One of them. <laughs> Front of the 747 there. There's the flakes there. The dead. What uh, apparently what this particular plane did, I think.
there. He will be going in, in, in there, but first we're going up there. And look good inside that. Good look at 747 here. The wing. In the wind again. <laughs> Look at how they attached another angle they got here. Wow. <laughs> and
All right, you say not to go up to the top of uh, the shuttle orbiter. This is in a 747 now, so. The line was just, it was taking too long. It's not coming on the 130, only have until 5 o'clock, so. Successful flights with models led to tests right. using an actual 747 in a prototype shuttle called Enterprise. John Piper's vision had become a reality. Oh, bummer. I want to go upstairs. <laughs> like up there and that green iron was added to support the weight of the shuttle This is what it looks like inside the 747 now. <laughs> things to look at. So head back out of the plane, back in the plane now. Hmm. <laughs> oh, up there. That must be it. Step outside. Wow. And I ended up not going all the way up to the top, to the end of the orbiter there. You don't want to get into the building there and see all the stuff we got in there, so. All right, head, head inside and take one last look at the 747. I carried the space shuttle. Cool. Well, 
Okay. The weight room. <laughs> sure, that's how they entered the uh, shuttle. Walked across into the weight room and where they entered the shuttle. Or maybe they went the other way. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to go in there and... Yeah, there it is, right there. We'll walk there and then we'll enter. That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to end. Ready for lunch. Okay. Lunch, lunch es cuando se sale el día. Aquí ya entran vestidos. Sí. Le preparan. Sí, es como la rampa. Exacto. That's where they load into. En caso de emergencia. No, no, no. Touching the moon. <laughs> Oh, 
Hoe is de mond te draaien echt niet? This is the actual command module, Apollo 17.
pretty big work area. I'm touching Mars. <laughs> okay. So they say.
<laughs> There's the moon right above me. <laughs> Came out now. I'm going to heading back to the car, but say to come over here and see the. This is one of the SpaceX uh, rockets that uh, launches and then it uh, returns back to Earth and it can be reused. That's really a cool thing. <laughs> And look at it from the other outside the fence. This this sidewalk is right here too. SpaceX Falcon 9. There we go, that's the uh, SpaceX uh, booster rocket, reusable. Well, there we go, that was the, the Space Center Houston here. I think they call it Johnson. <laughs> but yeah, there we go, so <laughs> that's gonna wrap up uh, for this uh, video, I think. <laughs>